Welcome back to Aurora's Little Lab. Today we got something really special. I caught a little spider and we're going to look at it under the microscope. In the hidden corners of our homes, within the quiet shadows of our basements and the forgotten crevices of our windowsills, there exists a tiny, intricate world. The world of an American house spider. This little creature, so often overlooked or brushed aside, is a master of survival. A tiny engineer and a silent sentinel of our living spaces. Look closely at his body under the microscope. That round, bulbous abdomen, a soft, tan, or grayish color, is more than just a simple sac. It is a sophisticated biochemical factory. Within it, the spider produces silk, not just one kind, but up to seven distinct types of silk, each for a different purpose. It can create sticky silk for trapping prey, smooth silk for wrapping and storing, and even strong, flexible silk for building the framework of its web. Those eight delicate legs covered in fine sensory hairs are the spider's primary tools. These hairs, known as sea tie, are extremely sensitive to the faintest of air currents, a superpower that allows the spider to detect the approach of even the smallest insects. But look even closer and you'll notice tiny claws at the tips of these legs, perfect for gripping its silken web, walking upside down and manipulating its prey. Its eyes, eight of them neatly arranged, seem like tiny black beads on its head. Yet, despite having so many eyes, the American house spider has poor vision. It doesn't need to see well because it lives by touch and vibration. The web it constructs is not just a trap, but an extension of its senses. The slightest twitch of a thread is a message, an alert, that a meal has arrived. And what a web it is, unlike the perfect spirals of an orb weaver spider, the American house spider prefers a tangled three-dimensional cobweb an architectural mess to our eyes, but a brilliantly efficient hunting ground to the spider. In the wild, such a web is built in hidden corners, and in our homes, it stretches in the quiet places we often ignore. These webs are not just passive traps. When a struggling insect is caught, the spider doesn't charge in recklessly. Instead, it approaches with caution, sensing the movements, judging the danger. It then rushes in with lightning speed, delivering a venomous bite. That venom is not meant to kill immediately, but to paralyze, to keep the prey still while the spider begins its true work, digestion. Digestion for the American house spider doesn't happen in its stomach. No, this is a creature that digests outside its body. It injects enzymes into its prey, which break down the insect's insides into a nutritious soup. The spider then simply slurps this soup, leaving behind a hollow, empty shell. Yet, for all its quiet, predatory efficiency, the American house spider is also a careful caretaker of its future generations. Look closely and you may spot a tiny silken sack hanging in its web, an egg sack. Inside, hundreds of tiny spiderlings are developing, safe within their silken nursery. Once they hatch, they disperse, spinning their own threads of silk. Tiny explorers carried on the wind. It's easy to view this creature with fear or disgust. After all, it lurks in forgotten parts of our homes, spinning messy webs, capturing insects. But in truth, this tiny spider is an ally. It hunts the pests we despise, flies, mosquitoes, gnats, maintaining a quiet balance in our living spaces. And although it may seem like a solitary and sinister presence, it is simply living its quiet, patient life, a miniature predator in a vast, hidden world that is always there, just beyond our notice. The American house spider is a reminder that even in the most overlooked places, there is life, complex, fascinating, beautiful. And with each delicate silken thread it spins, it leaves a mark, a small sign of the intricate web of life that surrounds us all.